Hello there one is from my web and in this video we are going to fetch our category details into our pop, uh, pop model which are in the, which are in the our brand page so as you can see we have this uh, brand page and here we have the pop model of the form of the uh, brand page we are fetching some uh, we are trying to fetch our category details from the database so let's see how can we fetch our category database category table details into our this brand page so before doing that uh, i am going back to the my crud.php which are our crud class page so i am using this custom gate so i am coming back to my brand.php file and i am going, going back to the top of that and make object dollar obj equals to new crud and after that I take a variable which means uh, I just type a queue equals to and this I am call this method which is custom gate and I put the table name as you can see the first parameter is table name so I am fetching uh, just write the table name and this cat uh, table name is category category and okay just see what's happening i just type the print as debug this print underscore r and dollar q and direct all the things save and check in the browser again refresh as you can see we had the all the things uh just, just type the echo Three and now we have as you, as you can see we had three database uh, three data into our table name laptop mobile and electronics here, we, here you can see okay so I just remove this thing and after that As you can see here is my options details so i just remove this all the thing okay uh i just write something change change it here select a category select a category is fine and after that i write a php open my php tag and i open a for each loop for each mm, dollar q as dollar row and I put the column put the column and just end it up here with and for each uh, yeah just, just check in the browser again this is working fine or not add new brand and as you can see uh, we have the three data uh, three options available right here so how can you change this uh, data so i just type uh, echo dollar row and what is the table name of the of that thing category underscore name category underscore name category underscore id so category underscore just a minute category underscore name and also just copy the same thing and paste it into the into our value and i just replace with id now just save it and check in the browser again refresh now click again select a category as you can see we have the laptop over electronics now i'm going back to my category.php file and add a new category uh, which is maybe grocery and click on save now check in the brand again add new brand and now we have the grocery laptop mobile electronics grocery and all other things
so and i think it's working fine now let's check into our how can we save this thing all things into our database so first of all we need to create a database so i create a new table which name is brand and it's a brand underscore id brand underscore name brand underscore slug underscore name and here we have the category underscore id actually uh, i just change the brand underscore category underscore id and uh, after that again i create a new i just put a new column at here and Mm, created at okay okay so I just put a brand underscore created at which means uh, it's our database uh, I mean date I put a database now it's a uh, change into our auto increment it's a primary key change the variable character and put the name is 255 again same as brand name 255 now again I change the type of this uh, category category id which is also 50 only and it's also variable character and 50 okay that's fine now click on save so uh again uh when i click on this button okay now uh, i'm going back to the, my going down to the script tag as you can see we have the submit form of the cat form so we we need to look up this form id what is the form id of that the form id is cat form but uh, and change it with brand underscore form I just copy this brand id form and i just change the selected name with brand form okay if you don't know what is the selector you can uh, just go to the jquery website official website of jquery and uh, read our article of this, what is the selector in jquery and how to face this okay and insert folder uh i think we need to put something extra at there uh, actually we have the action page so simply just create a new file again in our action folder uh which is brand underscore action dot php and i change the url of the action slash brand underscore action dot php so now again uh, and also i just remove this all the things okay before doing that i just print our post method so just open php tag and write a new line of the print underscore r print underscore r and dollar underscore post but check all the things okay and also we equal the pre i equal the pre tag at here and now let's check if this page open my network tab okay here we are here we had our network type now click on the add new brand i select a category laptop and just type acer and click on the save now let's see okay undefined variable post but i typed a mistake okay dollar underscore post that's my mistake again i click on the save now as you can see we got got some uh, parameters from uh, from this page like uh, category underscore name equal to three brand name acer brand id equals to nothing and form type equals to save so so as you can see we have the form type equals to save which mean if you got the form type equal to save which mean you need to save save this i mean insert the query in of this form 
which is fetch all the things okay so i'm going back to my brand page and i just call the call the class again I just okay i just clear this thing from the required ones i just copy this line from the cat action and i copy i paste it over here and after that okay i just copy the same line right here again and now if dollar underscore post and the form type what if you got if you got the form type equals to save okay so a form type equals to save then and what after that yes uh, of course okay what, uh, where is the or, or my code as you can see if you if you got or all the things like uh, if form type equals to save then we need to create a object of this thing so i just copy this line okay okay i'm not copy this i just uh, write a code manually and what is the brand and as my category name and brand name okay if empty category underscore name category underscore name okay uh, sorry we don't need to do that if it's empty then oh okay so let me add this thing okay because and here we go okay and if we got this empty which fill the category field and also if you if we got the empty field of the brand name too and plus filter brand field okay please select your category please select a category i think it's better than things and with this with this it is equal to zero else dollar data and just type the category name okay and now we need to we need to write some data data na table name so brand name and uh, brand underscore category underscore id so brand name hello and then also i just copy the same thing and i will change the url a uh, table name again the brand underscore slug underscore name 
I'm just Logify and it's a brand name. So I change the category name, replace with this category name, and also brand name. And the table name is brand. Okay, I think it should be okay with that. And after that, we have the brand underscore category underscore ID. So we just need to put the ID of that. What is the parameter name is? Parameter name is the category underscore name. Okay, just copy this simple thing. So now we have the other things, and also we need to uh, we need to save the save the date of the current time. So brand is created at arrow. That put the I take the parameter uh, date function of the PHP. Okay, uh, capital Y means uh, current year, year, and M means month, date, hours, minute, and seconds. Now we have the same thing, all things like this. And let's save it. And after that, we just copy the same thing again and put it over here. And when we face a uh, get the method of the insert method. We need to just change the method name, sorry, uh, parameter name, which is brand. And as you, as you know, we have the data method, sorry, a uh, data variable where I store our uh, all all the parameters, all the data into an uh, associative array. Okay, so if we got the data, it's just one. If it's if it's a success, then we got the thing. Now just save it and again I just replace this page and again I just select a category which is laptop and brand name is MSI and click on the save. Mm, you got nothing but let let me check in the browser uh, browse as you can see we have the brand name and brand name is equal to MSI and the ID is three. Okay, now we got the successfully inserted all the things. So after that, we just need to encode encode it all the things into a, into JSON. So yeah, after that, into a, this save and again refresh this page again and I just. Take a select another mobile. It's a Samsung. You click on the save. Now, as you can see, we got the some uh, brand category name ID created ad and got the status one two. Okay, so after that, and what we got in the console. And after that, uh, let's check in the browser again. On cost type error cannot read properties undefined reading or reset. Okay, so uh, actually we are just we just change the uh, brand form. So again, just copy the brand form and replace with this. And the model name is also changed with the brand model. And location reload now. Uh, let me press this page again and again brand electronics mm. let's type something anything else save now uh, we got all the things so let's uh let's check into our page my admin and as you can see we got all the all the brand data into our my page my admin brand table so in the next video we are working on the how to uh fetching the brand all the brand de brand details into our and put the all the brand details into our this table where i write a brand name category name 
and also write uh, write the actions of the edit and delete so meet you soon in the next video with the fetching of the brand details into the, the table and stay with me happy coding thank you so much